Hi Taurus and welcome to my channel The Guided Intuitive and welcome to your love read for July 2022 second half all right uh, so this is gonna all be all about love uh, this is for whether you're single coupled or have yet to meet someone you might find elements on one side versus another feel free to reverse the sides as you see fit all right so it's gonna be you and who we're gonna start out with an overarching energy if you're looking for a, a general monthly read or career money or finance you'll see that right at the end of this read all right all right I will be pulling some few more a few more cards probably at the end uh, as it relates to singles so stay tuned all right all right guys um, let's take a look I'm gonna put this aside for a moment uh, we're going to pull overarching energy, the big picture in love, uh, what's going to be important for Taurus to keep in mind in this second half of July. I hope you all are doing fantastic and glad you're here. Glad you're here. Uh, note your comments, like, and subscribe below if this resonates, guys, okay? Uh, or if you just want to. <laughs> all right, uh, what do we have here? Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. <gasps> you guys, this is called coming apart. Oh my gosh. You know what you're doing? You're putting something to rest that is no longer working for you. And you already know what this is, all right? Now this is showing up in your love read, all right? So this is saying as maybe a situation, uh, maybe you needed to break a promise or you needed to change course because you see things differently. This is a 46 card that reduces to a 10 and 10 is about, of course, some sort of ending with a brand new beginning, right? So, but I feel that there is an opportunity for you here to, um, I think it's an opportunity for you to really, it's almost as if like this is a heart. You've got two sides of a heart, like your other half or this other person that you had your eyes set on. Maybe that you are, um, maybe that it is, um, Maybe it's maybe you're reassessing your goals and values on a certain situation and you're seeing does this really align with me now? You've, you've changed so much maybe perhaps from when you have met a person or you uh, a situation and um, I think that you have changed. You've got to know yourself much deeper and you are taking a second look at your values and uh, your, your, your core values and your beliefs and your goals and you're seeing, hey, does this align with what I believe in? And, um, you know, this could have been a relationship or a situation. Uh, maybe that you've been in a, a uh, I don't know, maybe you've been in a partnership that maybe perhaps is just not mutually beneficial, guys. This is kind of, I get kind of two sides of a heart and two people looking different ways. Now, again, it's a, it's a 10 card with an ending with a brand new beginning, all right? So, uh, you know, if, if you wish to break away, or someone wants to break away from you, guys, don't chase. Don't chase is what this is talking about. Don't chase the relationship for a sense of like, like the, of the fear that you'll never get it, right? Because the more that you, you chase in that way, that it has a scarcity mindset, it keeps it away, all right? It really, truly does. It, it's got to really come from a point that like, like you know that you can get what it is that you want, right? There's always two sides to a situation, but um, the price you'll pay is not gonna be worth the price, is what the card talks about, all right? So again, uh, you know, sometimes separation can bring good fortune. And with you, I think you've elevated to some point where you've learned something and it has brought some sort of great fortune to you. Um, yeah. It's like uh, there could be a disillusion or uh, a, um, I don't know. Just remember that if someone wants to break free from you, let them. It's almost like that saying that if you love someone, let them go. If they come back, you know, then uh, then that is something that you can revisit at that time. You know, it was, it was you know, meant to be, but you're not chasing it, right? So your chasing is, is, is showing that you have a lack of mindset in your vibration, right? Uh, knowing that it's for you and knowing that the love that you want is for you and being open to what's going to be presented to you, that this person, that thing, that situation or something better. You've got to remember that because you can't control the outcome of what's going to present to you. You've got to believe and know that the best love that is right for you will be there for you 
and uh, that those doors will open for you at the right time. So for some reason, this is coming through. Let's take a look at what further, what else wants to come through here. Okay, let's take a look. All right. Ah, uh, let's see. Let's see what else we got. Perseverance. Whoa. How interesting. In, this is a heart chakra color. So in matters of the heart, this is about persevering. So now it doesn't, you know, it might seem counterintuitive, right? We just talked about let something go, don't persevere, right? This is saying is that let your heart persevere and on what it knows and what it wants, right? And but yet be open to how something's going to be presented to you, right? Picture the love that you want and what that life might be. It's almost like you, you can picture a person, but you know, with a blank face, right? And just figure out what that vibration would be like, you know, how you want to live that life, um, what you would be doing every day, you know, and uh, how you'd be feeling, um, what fun places you'd go, people that you'd see, people that you meet, you know, all these beautiful things. But you can do that with knowing that the vibration of love and not just tie it to just a particular person, place, or thing. Because that's what gets us tripped up a little bit, right? It doesn't leave us open to opportunities that are perfectly right for us or better for us. Again, this or something better. Sometimes it's hard to swallow, guys, okay? But uh, you're going to know, this is this is saying like the perseverance in matters of the heart. Focus on being stable. Ground yourself in matters of the heart, right? A little bit more. Uh, it's a four card. Fourth house has to do with your home, your private life, your family roots, right? Maybe that you, you know, maybe you were taught one way and, and, and learning another. I'm going to pull another card on this because I'm just kind of uh, interested in what may want to come through. Um, uh, what is uh, something that wants to come through for you here? Let's just take a quick look. Uh, what do we get here? Okay. And maybe in the past you felt insignificant. So you maybe had felt like you had to chase something. But this is saying, no, now, today, here, now, you understand your value, you understand your talents, and you understand your worth. All right? I don't know if you guys heard the birds out there, but they're they're calling. And this is something to bring into light. This is uh, something that wants to be heard. Um, apparently, this is something that's coming through. You because remember that shift that I told you you take like you've you you've changed in a way right you've changed and um, yeah you're, you're you can hear the birds out there this is so interesting you understand your talents value and your worth let's see how this is gonna play out in your read okay let's go ahead and pull some cards here let's, let's see how it's gonna play out in your read uh, let's take a look at what this looks like what's coming out for Taurus what do we have for Taurus on their side what do we get uh, what do we get the ten of wands okay. Which is interesting because this is a 10 card. You're getting another 10. I wouldn't be surprised, guys, if you're seeing a lot of 10, 11s, uh, 4s, uh, things like that coming through here. Okay, guys, bottom of the deck, justice card. All right, this is about getting justice. This could be in a relationship, and a situation. This is also about uh, uh, maybe some sort of court case in some scenario that you're getting the justice to balance things out for yourself. Um, I get the Ten of Wands, which is letting go of responsibilities or burdens that have once kind of uh, kind of ate your energy up, right? It just, it kind of like left you exhausted, fatigued. This is about saying that this part can be let go. Your, 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 your load is so much lighter now. It's so much lighter. Um, so there's some, some fresh energy coming through. Tenth house has to do with like your career vocation or just your achievements in this world. It could be that, uh, you know, perhaps something in your, your, your work life has shifted in some way. Maybe you had, you finished a project, you let go of something but I really feel you've let go of some sort of energy something that's had your energy then I get the three of pentacles and this talks about some sort of teamwork and collaboration you know coming together with others uh, to create to build to to uh, to bring about something and then I get the star card could be dealing with an Aquarius all right or you might have that in your chart but this is a uh, stepping out in all your beauty I feel that you might be taking on this energy uh, if this is all you this is about letting go of the burdens of the past, getting the support that you needed, and stepping out in your glory. Look at these stars around her. It's 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 like almost feel like you're taking on this energy. That's yes, I'm here now. Like yes, you know, 
in a, such a different way than you were before. Okay. Um, so, uh, there is, again, here are you, here's you with your value. Here's you with your talents. Here's, you know, you with all of your worth, right? And, and it could also indicate healing. Uh, there's a knowledge that you have and a connection with spirit that has been a significant, there is a significant piece that you have, but also a knowing about you that is incredibly sexy and incredibly warm and beautiful. And it's just this all knowing about you. Okay. So this is really beautiful here. Now, um, this could be also, this is, is, is letting go of the burdens of wanting teamwork with an Aquarius. Okay. Or that could be for some of you. Uh, it's coming through, so I'll mention that. But let's continue to look at anything else here. What are what is uh, what are you letting go of the burdens on this Ten of Wands? Let's take a look at anything else that wants to come through. This is something having to do with emotions, the Six of Cups. This is about past memories. This is taking a deep dive into your emotions on perhaps, why am I feeling that way? Let me go deeper into this and look at this, right? Uh, it's a deep dive into the emotions, into the ocean of emotion, uh, and then being able to, uh, you know, come out like, you know, up above for fresh air. Uh, so let's take a look at what was the uh, product of doing that. What do we get? Uh, leadership, like you taking the lead in your love life, uh, sacral chakra energy, all things having to do with the body. Um, and, 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 you know, it's kind of like this is uh, your sacral chakra energy. You're getting your ground in your sacral chakra energy by taking the lead in this situation as it pertains to emotions, something of which that has caused some sort of burden in the past. It reduces to a nine. Nines are coming to fruition and it's all about your journey because this is the philosophy of life. This is your journey, right? So something in this had was a piece that was pretty big for you and it pertained to your love life, okay? Um, let's pull another card on the star card coming through here, whether, whether you or a, another person. Whoa! You know what's so funny? None of these dropped. They all landed on my lap. Wow, you must have just caught something. Well, let's just take a look at what this is. Whoa! I was going to say, because the cards want to talk, but whoa, what did we get? Six of swords. Yeah, out of the darkness and into the light, like you caught something. So sixes are all about self-improvement. Um, and six of swords is like about you have to transition. You're moving. You're going, you, you visited the darkness and you've turned that around. It's almost like a wheel of fortune situation where you ended up on the top, right? And you, you can kind of see something by now you can look at it objectively rather than being in it. You guys, you know what I'm talking about? Sometimes you could be in something you can't see, the forest between the tree, you know, between the trees there. Um, uh, and so this is saying is that you've gone out of, you've done some shadow work here, okay? So, whoa, okay? Anything else that wants to come out uh, with the divine love cards, what do we get? Obsession. You guys, I think you guys have come out of something. There was an unhealthy obsession that had you, all right, and had you ruminating, okay? This is like that rumination in the shadow stuff, right? But then just kind of being chucked out of the circle and just kind of, you know, you, you get it. You Something happened that got you out of that. Something was a move. You Something, connection with spirit, some sort of download, a thought, something came through that actually hacked this. It brought you up, okay? Um, and this, it, it, you, it was taking up a lot of space in your world, right? It was taking up a, a lot of space in this connection, uh, obsessive thoughts. And I really feel it that it's changing for you. So this is powerful, okay? So moving forward, what do we have? Anything more that wants to come through for Taurus? This is fabulous, Taurus. Expectations. Maybe it had to do with your expectations in love, right? What you expected and what the other person expected or um, maybe just expectations in love in general, okay? Uh, it, it's, it's, again, it's a 10 card. It's shifting that. You're having a new beginning. Like, the, 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 like, things, like you're having different types of expectations, but based upon your new knowing, you know, your new knowing of oneself, right? It's like you came apart to come together, right? And then what else do I get? Yeah, and this is your, building your foundation. This is house. This is about creating a solid foundation. Now, you could be buying a house. You could be moving houses. Uh, you know, it could be something of the sort as well. I, it's a 20 card. Um, and uh, it could have to do with maybe you want to buy a house. You have your resources. Could be your resources, your values, your material security. This is what's coming through. Uh, anything more on love that might want to come through? Let's take a look for Taurus before we jump to the other side. What do we get? Traveling. Someone's traveling. Long distance, new faces and places. Look at you. Okay. So this is traveling. 
Oh, you might meet someone traveling. Well, let's take a look. Let's go on this other side, this other person. What do we have? Okay. Seven of Swords. You're going to get the truth. This Someone's going to be coming towards you with some truth. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What bottom of the deck? Full card. All right. Brand new beginning. Someone's coming through for you. I, you. There's a truth, but there's, you know, that wheel of fortune I was talking about. What's happening on this person's side, I got the Seven of Swords, right? And I've got the King of Cups, and then I got the Wheel of Fortune, okay? So what this tells me is that there is uh, some sort of truth that wants to come out. There's truth that's going to be coming, all right? And um, with the Seven of Swords, it tells me about maybe there's some sort of betrayal or some sort of deception within a situation, okay? It's coming through. And then I get the King of Cups. This is about one is now being an authority of one's emotions. This person might have either air in their chart. They might have even water in their chart as well. But this is about, they had, they had to get control of their emotions, you know, in terms of the situation. And then the universe is coming in and, and this is saying you've got to pay your karmic debt. So this person is, if it's been delays and a bunch of stuff on this side, there's been a lot of karmic debt that's been paid, but they, but it's shifting. It's shifting now. So it's now the Wheel of Fortune. What hasn't been working is now going to be able to move forward. So they've been going through, I mean, Wheel of Fortune with the full card at the bottom of the deck is a brand new beginning. All right. So for this person, that's what I feel that's happening here. Give me anything and some, some sort of truth that's coming through the Seven of Swords. Knight of Wands. This is about something having to do with passion, like coming in really fast and and out. And this is passion, lust, uh, and that type of thing. Knight of Wands is all about that, like adventure and love. So there could be some sort of um, Knight of Wands energy, okay, is what I get. Let's take a look at what the love cards have to say about this and the truth. There was a detour. An alternate course of action is going to be necessary for this person to put the connection back on, on track or to get on track in their life and love. Uh, they, 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 if they want, they're coming, they're an alternate course. And that's why I think like the wheel of fortune is shifting things. They're paying their karmic debt right now and, um, and, and, and getting balance. And then they are uh, understanding that a detour is going to be necessary, uh, to, to, to move past a roadblock. Uh, and then I also got the card confession guys. I got confession, right? You might want to check out Capricorn's reading that came out as well. Uh, but uh, there's hidden feelings that are going to come to surface. And I think that this person is going to be able to do that is going to, someone's going to come forth and tell you the truth. Okay. This person is very, they, they had to wait maybe until they felt more balanced in their situation in terms of their emotions to do that. But that's what I'm getting. All right. Um, anything else? Uh, but that's what I feel it's coming through there. Um, anything else that's coming through for this other person? What do we have? Uh, forgiveness. They might be coming to you for forgiveness. They might communicate forgiveness. Okay. This is what it's a 96 card. It's a birthing. They, they want to birth something new. They want to, they want a new, uh, uh, something new to, to begin based upon what has ever gone through. Now this could be someone that you've met, a connection of some sort, perhaps. What else do I get? Yeah, they see, I feel that they see you in high honor. Now this person could have a position of high honor as well. Um, and yeah, they've been, this is a, could be someone that's really focusing in on work right now. I get a lot of toil and labor. So I get them, uh, you know, focusing on work, 11th house energy that, you know, for others, it's for others, global awareness, clubs, groups, work. Um, they could hold a high position in terms of work as well. Uh, anything else that's coming forward in this person? Um, let's take a look what we have. Shadows, something's been unknown. Something is unknown, okay? Um, wow, all right, and anything else? Quality time together. Uh, so this person might want to be giving you a call. Might we wanted to set up some quality time together, uh, especially with the truth coming through and asking for forgiveness, but it's going to be up to you. Uh, any other uh, information on your side, Taurus, moving forward? Two of Wands, you're making progress. Making progress and you're discovering things about yourself as you move up in love. Like you're, you're moving forward, fire energy, right? And four of swords, getting the rest that you need. Again, could be traveling, getting the rest that you need. You know, four of swords is uh, getting that rest. And then I get the four of pentacles. You might be seeing lots of fours. Developing a strong foundation for a positive wreath of success of, in your love life. This is powerful, guys. Um, let's take a look at anything else. What do we get? Getting to know each other. Okay. So you could be just getting to know this person, uh, or maybe you're getting to know someone new, but it's coming through as you open up and reveal your truths. Um, your bond will deepen. Okay. 
this other person on the other side, anything more for them? What do we get? World cards, something's come to a completion. Four of Cups and King of Pentacles, uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. I think this person feels that, um, you know, I got the world card. They could be at a distance from you, but some, kind of something's come to a completion after some sort of blow up. Uh, it has them, you know, looking back at that and seeing it. Now, objectively, they could look back at it, but having to do with love. Whoops. And then I get the King of Pentacles, uh, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. This person might have Earth in their chart, or they, they feel that something's come to an end with you, okay? Or they want to, uh, or they're taking on that Earth energy and being in control, and they know that they have to take control and move forward. And what do we get? Love yourself first. Their self-respect makes them more romantic, so they're being they're being uh, uh, they're being led to do that, and they've had some sort of retreat retreat that they had to disconnect from the world. Okay, and that could be what they're doing now, right? It's kind of like uh, you know, get the world card, and then there's some sort of uh, uh, blow up. So there's some sort of looking on the outside and uh, some sort of uh, perhaps a disconnection there, but. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing on this person's side there. So, they're, yeah, they're focusing on their finances right now. I don't, they're focused a lot on work right now, guys. So, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this to an extended because I want to find out what this person's, um, you know, what's this message coming through here of forgiveness? Uh, what's their truth, all right? A little bit deeper. I need to dive into deeper what their intentions are with you, uh, what they want most, what they haven't told you, and what their next steps are. Um, now we know we want to get the timing involved in this truth coming through how they're feeling about you right now, how you're feeling about them, what you haven't told them, what you want most. And, uh, of course, uh, potential outcome with Oracle advice. So if you want to join me guys, click the link in the description box below. I'll pull a few cards just for some singles here for you guys to get uh, some sort of idea about that. All right. So let's take a look for singles sun card, a renewed sense of energy guys. Woohoo. I feel your vibe, all right? I feel your vibe. It's kind of like you're riding high, beautiful, yummy energy, enjoying the summertime or spring, wherever you're at, and putting an end to something that was disappointing. I get um, I get a death card, which is uh, Capricorn energy, right? And then I get the three of swords. Like It's kind of like you have renewed energy after heartbreak, okay, is what I'm getting. Three of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is Capricorn uh, energy here, okay? Well, I'm sorry, Scorpionic energy. All right. Scorpionic energy. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah. Death card, scorpionic energy. So I feel that you could be after um, after some sort of heartbreak, you have a renewed sense of energy to be able to move forward. Give me more. Give me more. Oh, you're feeling like the Empress. Look at you. <laughs> Look at you. You know your value, right? You know your value. You know your worth and you know your talent, just like we talked about at the beginning of the read. OK, uh, anything else? Um, and you are balancing yourself out, being transformed, temperance energy. Look at all this major arcana. Four out of the five cards, major arcana. There's a huge shift in you, Taurus. See, you're not going to be the same as you were before. You came apart so you could come together like no other, okay? Like you never were before. And this is why it wants for you to persevere in love in the initial read. But this is what I'm getting. Uh, anything else uh, for you? Let's take a look in terms of singles. What do we get? Focus on your individuality, all right? Focus on your individuality, what makes you unique, okay? Because it doesn't want you to conform to others, all right? You focus on your health and create change in your world. This is saying focus on health. This all has to do with the emotions of the body and being grounded. So those energies, you know, the emotions, sacral chakra, root chakra are going to be very, very key for you here, all right? Anything else for the uh, uh, singles coming through here, okay? It's about forgiving and learning. You're, you're about, you're, it's about releasing the past, guys. And it is about, uh, so you can experience this type of energy right now is what I'm getting. You know, that renewed energy, all right? Anything else? Um, I do get uh, immaturity. Maybe that the person that you were with in the past uh, or some, you know, maybe in the past that uh, um, someone was undeveloped or maybe that uh, there was a sense of immaturity. Now, this could be you or another person. 
but I think that the, any sort of thing that you found out that was a little bit more immature about you or another person has now reached some sort of harmony, okay? There's some sort of harmony moving forward. Uh, whatever your partnerships are going to experience a lot more harmony moving forward because of this. Okay. So, uh, but that's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting guys. This is powerful. Okay. So I think that you really got this. I think that the biggest thing for you is to really know that maybe in the past you felt inferior, but, but now you know your personal strengths, you know, your high capabilities in love, and it's about you consistently moving forward in love. Okay. So that's what I'm getting, all right? And uh, some of you might be uh, might be having to do, again, I get courthouse again, I might be doing some legal proceedings regarding your work situation, uh, but I do believe that you've got courtship coming up, okay? So some of you uh, it could be going through legal proceedings, but this has a lot to do with your work, but also with love coming through, okay? Because I'm getting a little bit of both, all right? But uh, there's going to be some sort of courtship uh, taking place. Maybe you're going to meet someone that more of a legal standpoint or maybe someone that's in the legal field or someone um, on your way in your work or in your legal field or in your travel. But I do get courtship. How do you know when you meet, meet this person? How will you know? Just real quick. Okay, I guess I got to pull another card for you. How will you know when you meet this person? Uh, they're going to bring some deep harmony towards you. Okay. They're going to have a lot of domestic, they're going to communicate harmony of the heart. All right. Uh, they are going to deliver a message that is, um, I know they're very, they, they want to manifest. There's new manifestation and enterprise. They want to manifest, right? And, uh, they've got passion, tons of passion could be a fire sign as well. And they are looking for emotional bliss. I get the 10 of cups. They are, they're going to make you feel so freaking happy. So this is what you want you to concentrate on. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Note your comments below. If you want the extended, see the description box below in uh, for the initial read. Until next time, namaste.